Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Rep Selectors. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do reviews, unboxings, overviews, retrospectives, modifications. Today we're gonna take a look at the Retro Fighters Duelist controller for the Nintendo Switch and PC. Retro Fighters has a pretty solid track record when it comes to their ability to make a decent controller for retro consoles. From the Striker DC to the Wireless Brawler 64, Retro Fighters modernizes retro controllers and delivers them a much new ergonomic feel. Retro Fighters sent this out for review purposes only. This is not sponsored in any way and these are totally my thoughts on the controller. The new Duelist controller that is specifically designed for those Smash Player elitists that want another option to the Switch GameCube controller. The Duelist weighs in at 183 grams and is available only in the Indigo color scheme. The Switch Pro controllers reach a hefty price here in Canada. The Duelist is a nice added bonus coming in at about $40 Canadian as opposed to about $70, $80 for the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch. You're playing that Switch tax, which you don't really need to when you have other options available. The ease of the setup is simple. Turn on your Nintendo Switch, use the Joy-Cons or any controller you have already synced to the Nintendo Switch, go to your settings options, select change grip order. While on the Duelist, push the sync button behind the controller and the L and R buttons and voila, you're synced. The Duelist controller includes a controller, charge cable, a USB 3, and information pamphlet. Unfortunately, it doesn't include the standard Retro Fighters keychain, which is included in all past controller releases. Oops. Albeit I'm a terrible Smash player, and it's been definitely a while since I've played Smash Ultimate, using this is a nice little added touch, because I usually typically use the Joy-Cons, and uh, this is my first pro-like controller, I guess you could say, and I do like this for the Nintendo Switch, but there are some quabbles that I feel that I should address to this controller. The placement of the A button feels a bit too far to the right. The placement of the new S button feels too close and I've had incidents of mispressing it. Typically all controllers have a diamond pattern with their A, B, X, Y buttons, but introducing the S button and the large A button and the placement feels off. I feel that they should have introduced a home key nub on the buttons. So what I mean by a home key nub is on most keyboards, they have a little dot, a little convex dot. You're able to find the home keys real fast and you can type real fast. With this, I feel that because this added button, this S button, I feel that whenever I'm touching it, I am always looking obviously away. I can't, I always typically go up thinking that the X button's up here as opposed to the X button being down here. So when you're playing A, B, X, Y, I feel like because I'm used to the A button being here, I'm always pushing the S button and it's just a little bit too close. The X on this controller is to the left of the A button, not above the A button. So when you're playing, you feel a little bit offset. I think that if they had maybe a home key or a home button, a little convex little piece of plastic saying A is here or on the X saying that X is there and then you know that Y is below it and B is below that. Testing games like Rocket League, Dead Cells and Mario Kart have their different control schemes, but each feel great playing with the Retro Fighters Pro Lite controller. Alongside the new S button, the Duelist also features a combo button. The S button now has macros that can be switched by pressing the combo button. The Duelist S button is set to short hop. By pressing it in once, you can set the S button to the smash variation. Press it again and it's set back to short hop. The D-pad on any controller can make or break a 2D fighter or 2D platformers. A too spongy feel, it doesn't feel natural, and it's rigid will wreak havoc on your thumbs. The Duelist D-pad isn't terrible, but it lacks a precision needed to be able to pull off certain fighting moves. The weight and ergonomic design feel solid, a bit lighter than the Xbox One or PS4 controller, but feels great nonetheless. The analog and C-stick are great, really love the feel, and never felt that I had to adjust my thumbs because they felt slippery. Both sticks have a rubbery feel, which is a nice touch. The Duelist Switch controller is a great addition to those who are looking for a cheaper option to the Switch Pro controller. I'm sure Smash players can really appreciate its added features and controller layout. As a person who is a novice in Smash, I can appreciate the Duelist Pro-like features. A budget option that checks all the boxes. There are some small issues that I had with the button placement and the lack of a home button. But overall, I would definitely recommend this to those who would want to pay the Switch tax when it comes to a first party Nintendo controller. I haven't been able to use this on PC because I don't game on PC, but from what I understand, you just connect the USB 3.0 to the controller and to the PC and you're ready to go. It automatically syncs that way. You cannot use it wirelessly, unfortunately. This is my new go-to Pro Controller. I don't have a, a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I've been always having to use 
the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode, which isn't a big deal, but sometimes you want to play on a big screen TV. And having to play with the Joy-Cons, I didn't really like too much. So with this and its 30 foot capacity of range, I feel that I had no issues with this. Syncing was easy. The connection was easy. There was no breakup and lag or button impresses that didn't feel right. I feel that those who have played with it really do enjoy it. And I know when it comes to my family, my kids, when they use it, they feel a little bit more secure than holding the Joy-Cons in their hand that are very small. Even though their hands are small, they feel that the button placement and the plus and minus buttons are a little bit too close to the analog sticks. That this is just, the button placement is just about right. With the Duelist, you're able to wake up your system from sleep once it's synced. You just push the home button and your Nintendo Switch turns on. You have your combo button there. You have your take a picture or record gameplay and you have your plus and minus buttons there. It's a great build of a controller. I really love the analog sticks. They feel really good. I never had an issue where my thumb slid off or I had to adjust my thumb too much on this. The triggers are not like your typical Xbox One Pro controller. They're more just buttons rather than triggers where you can pull them down slowly. These are just buttons. The L and R is the same thing. Overall, I do like this controller. You can find it at Castlemania Games or RetroFighters.com. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys picked up the Retro Fighters Duelist controller, what are your thoughts on it? Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys agree with some of the points I made? Again, add those to the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.